I had like a couple of videos when I was growing up. I lived in South Africa in a pretty small coastal town. My parents went to Australia. They brought back a couple of VHSs and those are the guys that influenced me. There were a couple of local surfers. You mould yourself from what's around you. All the guys I still hang with now, it's like Dion and Ozzy and Kai and They've thought outside of the box and they've always been doing cool shit in my opinion. If you like went on the forums on the internet, people talk shit on them every day. But it's those guys are all my best friends and I look up to them so much. And, and I've learned from Dane and like all the guys around me and like all our friends, it's like you you are you do you do your shit, but it's like what filters out to people is it's what you want them to see. Calling it quits on writing for Quicksilver. I don't know. It was, it was an interesting call. Like a paycheck's fucking amazing, and I've I've been I'm forever grateful to the companies that support me. Like money's cool, but it's fucking not everything. And I'm like way happier now that I've done that, and like I feel better about it. And it came to a point where I just felt like I needed to needed that change, and I needed to feel better about myself, and like. And most people are like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know, it's given me a lot and I'm fucking grateful for it, but I want to give back and make it feel right for me. I've always backed what Dane does and for the last 10 years has kind of taken me under his wing and, you know, the way he sees things, that's the way he wants to put them out. He's been his own person and his surfing's always done the talking. I don't think I'm fucking half as, as good a surfer as he is, but he's always helped me along and, like, help bring ideas to fruition and when I first started surfing and it kind of, kind of took off and there was a career there like my dad would shake his head at me and he was like I can't believe this is an actual thing like it's pretty cool keep going and and now he looks at me he's like what the fuck have you done like not threw it all away like I, I feel like I still have a lot more to give the industry or just I just want to fucking go surf but I needed to I want to go surf for a reason that I'm passionate about it's got to a point where I want to do shit and I want like the kids to look up to something that selling the dream whatever it is like I just want to be passionate about it and actually care I don't want them to go out and fucking buy it. shit that I don't, I don't care about I just bone out and just keep surfing and like having fun work a job, I don't know, I'm, I'm down on whatever. It's all like, I don't know, it's all been pretty surreal. From day one, I just didn't think that was actually a thing and bounced around, I've like met a bunch of people, surf some amazing waves. It's, what it comes down to is just surfing waves and being psyched. I can't articulate myself that well, boys, especially after 10 bintangs.